Fixation. But you don't have custody. But he's being. But you don't have custody. So the custody order still I overrules. Not, I think custody being removed from you would be a factor. I don't want nobody to be getting hurt or none of that. If it, if that is the case, you know, so he need, the dad needs to be dealt with. And if she's manipulating the court systems and trying to, I feel like she needs to get dealt with. And the, what's up with you two fam, man? I'm back here with another video. Look, I want to start this video off by letting y'all know I appreciate y'all for coming over here watching these videos with me. Because y'all can easily go watch them somewhere else. Or even if y'all have I already seen them, y'all still come watch with me. And I appreciate y'all for that real talk. But anyways, we're going to jump straight into this video. Where I got this video from, no, hold on, I'm tripping. Somebody actually sent me this video this morning. Um, and the video title was uh, She Tried to Save Her Son. So we're going to watch this. I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't want to hear me talking on this video that's on my channel, all you got to do is go find it. It's so easy to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to be over here being weird. But if you're a loyal supporter of mine or a new supporter, make sure I hit the like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about this in the comment section. And my Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all that's going to be in the comment section. If y'all want to add that, if y'all don't want to add it, I ain't doing no tripping on that. But let's go ahead and jump straight to the video and see what's going on. I'm not trying to cause no problems, I'm trying to protect my children. Do you understand? He's autistic. He has two different diagnoses from two different doctors. Is this your property? Is he, he's bringing it on your property. Are you going to allow him to do this to me on your property? Look, this is not your property. This is her property. No, she rents it from my aunt and uncle. So it's not your property. Listen to me. This is your aunt and uncle. The same deed. It don't matter. Leave David alone. Yeah. Leave. It's not your property. Your aunt and uncle have to tell me. And it has to be from them. And it has to be from them, not you. Leave so this wouldn't happen. Now, David, calm down. Don't you go near my car. Get off my property. I'm not on your property. This is your aunt and uncle. You leave with that kid, I'm going to get you. I'm not leaving. I'm waiting for the cops. I am too. Lock the door. Lock the doors. I'm okay. Roll my window up. Lock the doors. My children are being abused. I'm waiting for the officers to get here. They will settle it. Something right. You stay in the car. Don't leave the car. Let's go see what he says. I didn't even know they were arguing. Away from me. I'm not near you. You're, You're in my property. Place. You're, You're in my place. You're in my place. No, I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you. Get back in the car, David. Get back in the car. Put his hands on you. me. Get me my phone. You're trespassing. You put your hands on me right now. You don't have the right to touch my mom. You're touching me. You shouldn't have to hurt nobody. Hurt nobody. Leave. Get in the car. Yeah, they got going on. The dad do seem aggressive. Right for your child, okay? He's going to CPS right now. Yep. Yeah. Their guns are in the safe. But right now, he's going to go back to the father because that is the court order. I'm not going to go to the police station, sir. I'm not going back down there. He's going to get hurt if he goes back down there. And we're both telling you that he is in danger and you're not caring. The way he talked, he don't seem autistic. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not trying to downplay it or anything like that. If he is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? But, or he's a high functional autistic person, you know? But uh, I just feel like uh, it, something is weird with this. You know what I'm saying? The dad do seem a little aggressive, but it seems like they're having a custody issue. And I don't feel like you would have your child if you were the, too much of an aggressor. You know what I'm saying? Did it make sense? Yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not victim shaming at all. He might be a little strict on him, but I just feel like, you know, he wouldn't have his child if it was real legit, like abuse going on. But yeah, let's get back into this, man, so we can find out what's really going on. You're doing what you're doing and not taking my child's best interest at heart. You're going by court order and you're going to put my child in a violent special needs child and back into a domestic situation to where he could get hurt and neither child have a phone to call me so I could come get them help. Don't walk away, sir. I'm hitting you with the same spew that you're spewing at me that I, as a mother, am supposed to be okay with. And you... And what, what David has said as well, okay? But social and services let, 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 to said me. he had to stay here. That is what they said. Mm-hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a report written up, mm -hmm. fax to CPS, 
the CPS will look over it and they will decide if they want to straighten it in or straighten it out. I'm not staying here, sir. He says he's not staying here, he and he is sense. a flight risk. That I do not want him going back I into his bad behavior, trying to get him away from an abusive father. And you guys are taking a court Look, order I'm above listening. my son's safety after what they you both have. Listening to me. I am listening. But, but I am. You what you're, you're telling me is you don't have a choice because of a court order. You so you're telling me a court order comes before their safety? I that know. is against. For her, for her to say that he's a flight risk, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like she putting ideas in him. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that she's been saying, it's kind of like she's trying to trying to coerce him to do something. And what I honestly feel like, the dad is strict. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily strict, but he's just not letting him do what he want to do over there at that house. You know what I'm saying? He probably done got a whooping. You know what I'm saying? He probably just got a little ass whooping at the house. You know what I'm saying? And he probably don't want to go back to his daddy's house. And the mother um, is not understanding that the police officer has a job to fulfill. He cannot go over his job duty to help you in your situation you know what i'm saying so i mean you know and i know about custody battles and stuff like that so like she you know it ain't no way that she he can do nothing you know you gotta really just go ahead and go with the flow but uh she do seem like she's trying to coerce him or give him ideas of what to do and this and this and that saying he's a fly risk and all that because i feel like if you're autistic the way she's trying to portray it to be then he wouldn't be able to book his own flights and do certain things not saying that they're just all the way disabled or anything like that like i said i have much respect you know uh but i just feel like you know the way that she's portraying it you know, I feel like he will have challenges trying to catch flights and do this and do that. He seems fully functional. And like the daddy just said, hey, look, um, he's not autistic. Like, they don't, he didn't got a second. She said, we got two tests from two different people. You know what I'm saying? So the daddy probably took him to his doctor and she probably took him to her doctor. And they both said two different things. And the daddy over there like, nah, he know what the hell he doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let him get away with this and let him get, get away with that. The stuff that you let him get away with at your house. You know, that's just what I feel. But uh, yeah, like I said, everything I'm saying is speculations. You know, um, we are here to find out what's happening. But I am here to give my commentary and tell you what I actually think is going on. But uh, yeah, man, it just, it just kind of seemed fishy. The whole situation is seemed funny. But for the dad to come out there and do that, he do seem like he does have a little temper. You know, I got to be unbiased in this. You know, I'm not going to take her side or his side unless I really feel like one of them are more right than the other. But as of right now, it's hard to tell. You know what I'm saying? What the daddy said was kind of profound to me because I know how kids can be when they're around a strict father figure or a strict mother figure. She, when they want to do what they want to do and they know they can do it somewhere else and not your house, they're going to be prone to go over there. But let's get back into this. The law. Children are removed from abusive homes all the time. That's what you guys are here for. And I but you're supposed to override the court order when you know they're being abused. You're just talking over. You're not listening. I did listen. But you're not listening. To she did say something right, though. If, if, if you know it's being abused, but I feel like he'd have to see it or it had to be like some visual type of abuse. But speaking on the ass whooping that he got last week, I don't think that he can do nothing about that. But let's get into it. Right now. Okay, what else are you going to say? Your hands are tied. Because of a court order, when you know my children are being abused, I do not know that your child. You just saw, you talked to them. You don't believe them. I'm not saying that I don't believe. So you're gonna leave him here, and he's gonna hurt them when we leave. So I'm gonna be calling you guys in about four hours to come back out here and do a well check to make sure there are no bruises and marks. So if you guys will kindly take pictures of David before you leave, so that when you guys are called back out tonight, you have references to go by. Because you guys do have to do a well check when you are leaving him with an abusive father. So Now look, the more she's talking, the more it sounds like that little boy in trouble, bro. I'm telling you, how she know he's for sure to get an ass whooping when he go home. I'm finna have some bruises and stuff on him. It's like she told him. I mean, it's like, it, it's like he told her, I'm going to whoop his ass when he get home. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I feel like the courts wouldn't give this man this baby if it's been his visual abuse, like shit that's been happening to him. He don't have a phone and stuff like that. True enough, I understand it. And I'm... And I, and I'm not victim shaming as well. I'm just looking at it on both sides. It seems like she's on some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? It really does. You know, and uh, like I just said a while ago, he's a highly functional autistic person if he is autistic. You know, um, and, but the daddy said he's not. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he's in some trouble, you know? But on the other hand, hell, if, if, if it is like that, bro, it is to say that they got to go through this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? That they can't actually get no help if he's really being abusive to the boy. But I honestly and firmly feel like He's getting disciplined at that house, and it ain't just him abusing him. He's just on him, you know what I'm saying, about certain things. But, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Hey, David, get out. Let them take you. You're not staying? No, I'm going away. I'm not staying. You're, he's telling you right now he's going to run away, and he is autistic. That doesn't bother you. You need to call the judge. You need to call the court. You need to call CPS and let them know exactly what's going on. 
right now. He is a flight risk. This is regressing his, uh, his, his progress that he has made because you're trying to make him stay with an abusive father. And if he tries to run away, he's going to beat that out of him all the way back when he catches him. And if there's a possibility he could get hurt. He did something. What David told me that he started the whole thing. And talking to my corporal, he can call the juvenile intake all the way. He's autistic. You can't lock him up. I know the rules. And I, yes, it does. Yes, it does. When he's dealing with an abusive father, yes. Having a mental disability is not excuse you from the law. It does help him in his case when he's being abused by his father. He has the right to defend himself. See, man, I'm, and like I said, I'm sorry if, if this is really going on, but it just don't seem 100 on their end. You know what I'm saying? Look, she she got look how she feel about using his disability to their advantages. You know, he basically saying like he did. He had to correct her. You know what I'm saying? Just because he got a disability, don't mean that he's exempt from the law. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm, I'm pretty sure if he wasn't high functional, it'd be some exemptions. But he is high functional. He's no he's fully capable of knowing what he's doing. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? She said he made progress, and it's good if he was autistic. But like the dad said, he's not. And this is daddy. He's not gonna go give him. He's not gonna talk down on let nobody else talk down on or say. That that, that he's not autistic if his son is really having a disability but it sounds like she's trying to use this for everything and she don't have custody y'all watch this right here she don't have custody so if she can prove that he's abusive she can get the child from him without him getting the baby no more it, the, the, the role will be switched you know so I feel like she is trying to manipulate the justice system. You know, that's just how I feel. But like I said, I am sorry if this did happen to you or your son, because I'm pretty sure y'all will see this video, but I just can't feel the, the sincereness from you from this right here. It just don't seem real. You know, it, it seems like you are too narcissistic to really sit there and have a casual conversation with him. You have to be a smart ass. You have to do this and he have to do that. Now I know you are supposed to do that if you fight for your son, but it's, it feels more like coercion. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I feel. But uh, yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. He said to me that he's going to He got upset because he wouldn't let him go for his birthday for no reason. And his father did not try to defuse the situation and only made it worse to where I had to call you out here. Well, since he has to go back, I would like you to take pictures with your phones. He's always out of saying he's not going back. You guys are going to be looking for my son all night in these woods. You know that, right? I hope your canine can look for humans. You need a scent? I know my son. I'm trying to tell you what's going to happen because you're making him stay here with an abusive father. He's running away. He's already saying it. And it's on him. And it's on y'all. Because his safety is supposed to come first. David, you have to get out. You're going to go to juvie? I don't care. I'm not staying here. Can you take him to the detention home with him in solitary confinement? He's refusing to get out. He wants to go to Juvie to get away from his father. He wants to. So you're denying to keep my son safe by his request because he knows he's not safe. He just doesn't go from here to the Okay. I've been doing my job well enough to know that, okay? I'm um, explaining that to you. It's a, it's some, a point system. Some got a hat. Oh, you mean point system? It's a point system. You have to have a certain amount of points to get with that with that board. Well, they already said if I have that one more time, I'm going to WW more. Huh? They, they, can't, like they can't put you in WW more. Just, he's threatening you. That's what his father tells him. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not going to lock you up. I'm just explaining to you what's going on. Yeah, they are. They're not helping you. You do, yeah, your hands are tied by a court order when you know my son is being abused. How are you going to sleep at night? You're going to sleep just fine, aren't you? Because you really don't give two Fs. I can tell you don't care, because if you cared, you'd be on the system. You'd be on the phone with the court system right now letting them know what's going on.
After everything that they told you. That's CPS. They deal with this. Well, then you need to call CPS and stress how urgent this is. But like I said, you're going to sleep just fine because you keep making up excuses. If you're not part of the pr uh, solution, guess what you are, sir? I'm, I'm going to let you know that Dominic said that if you come on the property, you will be charged for trespassing. So, so you can't come back on the property. Can you do that when he... I just noticed. Hold on. I said he seemed aggressive, but damn, she walked up on him like she, like he wasn't going to do nothing to her. Like, when you scared of somebody, you know, they're abusive and this and this and that, you're not going to just walk up on them. You're not going to be all up in their face with their phone. And she's on his property till he told her to go. She got the phone all in his face. Yeah, he probably did just want to get it out of her hand. But at the same time, she probably is mad as hell, too, and want to dress. And I'm trying to look at it on both sides, y'all, but y'all already seen where I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, I just don't, I just don't want nobody to be getting hurt or none of that. If it, if that is the case, you know, what I'm saying he, the dad needs to be dealt with, and if she's manipulating the court systems and trying to, I feel like she needs to get dealt with. And uh, I'm telling you, bro, CPS is so sensitive right now. Oh, uh, really? CPS have always been sensitive, you know, what I'm saying child protective services that. You can make it just a call sometimes and get some shit done. Now, I know a lot of, now I'm not gonna get into no extra. I'm gonna talk about what I know right here, right now. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Like, all you gotta do is make a call and they'll go get involved with the, with the child's life and stuff like that. But they done went to court. It's some custody done been took place. This, uh, the damn service, she's earlier, they said that the service people told her that yeah. they are talking to them and everything. So I'm pretty sure he's not a threat to the, to the, to the damn son. I feel like the son is just having, um, problems adjusting to discipline over there at the house with him doesn't own the property or rent the property his name is not on the property his name is not on the property he lives there he does live there yes so therefore if you come back you will be charged with trespassing i'm just letting you know that but i also do know that to get charged with trespassing the owners of the property have to legally go down to the magistrate and do it i know that too because he tried to do that at 1169 afton road and he didn't own that property and the owner of the house had to press charges on me not just because he lived there i do know the law sir and i know all my rights yeah you got you got you got a very educated very educated businesswoman right here you're dealing with you are more worried about a court order than the safety of my son and, and you're gonna sleep just fine mr harrison harrison i bet you are I don't want Mr. Harrison. It must run in the family. It really must. It is. It's not my opinion, sir. You straight caring more about a court order than the safety of my autistic child. And when something happens, Mr. Harrison, I'm going to hold you personally responsible because you left him here. Because your hands are tied. Oh. See how right now she's using satire. She's being funny. You know what I'm saying? She's playing around. I don't. I don't sense the sincerity. You know, I don't sense the the the, the pain and hunger to get her child with her. You know, it's more of a joke to her now. And she's been pulling up to multiple addresses that he's had. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, he just tried to get trespasses on me last time. Woo, woo, woo. For her to feel so comfortable, he can't be that abusive. I, don't, I just don't. I, I just don't see it. I feel like she got some manipulation tactics that she's trying to put in the place right here, and uh, it ain't working for her. It's like they over her bullshit. They already know how she moved. This is not nothing new. They probably told her ahead, of, told him ahead of time, hey, this such and such, she gonna be doing this and doing that, and he know just to uh, like void everything that she's saying. We finna keep moving forward. His son need to go in the house. He need to go in there with his dad. If his ass is in trouble, he's in trouble. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into it. Safety of children don't come first, y'all. A court order does, according to Mr. Harrison. And my son's not saying here. You can hear him in the background repeatedly saying that. He knows he's going to be abused when you leave. He knows it. I know it. You saw how he attacked me and then tried to say he didn't even hit me on video. I showed you the video of him attacking me, hitting me, knocking my phone out of my hand, and you're telling me that I need to go downtown to press charges, and you're going to leave my son with this man so he can hurt my son when we leave. Yeah, that's great. I will personally sue you if something happens to my son. I will. I will find a loophole, honey, because I am the best. Ask about Sarah Riley. Not Sarah Sutherland. Sarah Riley knows the law. Ask about me, honey. Your whole office knows me.
but why she don't have custody of the child? You know what I'm saying? Now, I know it's all type of different things that happen for people to lose their children, and I'm not talking about anybody but her, so get that understood. In her situation, with her being such a businesswoman, so smart, knowing the law, all this, why you don't have your child? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you got to fight for your child. It's hard. Why you not having more custody than what you have? You know what I'm saying? I just don't get it. Evidently, it's something that's not right. Real talk. And she said, ask about me. I told you. I just said this, bro. That's crazy. She do this. The, they probably told her ahead of time. Hey, look, man, she finna come over here tripping, bro. Don't pay her no attention. And he doing exactly what he was told to do. I could tell. You know, uh, she talking about suing him and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. Do what you're supposed to do to get your child back. But right now, go with the flow. Because I don't honestly sense no danger from him. Normally, kids be crying, tripping and shit. You know what I'm saying? They really be agitated and nervous to go back in there. He calm. He over there leaned over. Big old chilly. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't I don't see the sense of urgency of her. You know, and then really, on some real shit, if somebody got their child, real talk. I just thought about that. If somebody got their child with them, knowing that they're going to go get abused, they're not going to drive their child to the person. Especially with her type of demeanor and attitude, you're just not going to drive your child there. You're going to keep your child. You're going to go ahead and go all the way with it. How y'all go to jail for kidnapping? Just do it. But I'm not bringing a child to you. You know what I'm saying? That's if you're really getting hurt. But for her to pull up, hop out the car, walk over there, charge him up with the phone in her hand, get back in the car, make jokes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now she threatening the police and all this other type of stuff, bro. She's, I can't sense the, I can't sense it. I'm just sorry. Now, like I said a while ago, I'm sorry if something is really happened to you or your son. You know what I'm saying? But you just ain't giving me 100 vibes. You just give me all this weird ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into it. All this weird ass energy. Now, Miss Hardy, Miss Smith, you go ask Miss Smith about Sarah Riley. She'll tell you. She will tell you. She already did. Whatever he says goes. Yeah, that's right, because he can abuse you and do everything else. That doesn't help your chances of getting him. You still gotta go to the court. But you're saying that the only way you can remove him is put him into foster care, but not with me. Exactly. You can't place him with me. Exactly. For what reason? Because that's how I would say I I'm not CPS, but I would say you wouldn't get custody because you don't have custody now. I have visitation. But you don't have custody. Mm. But he's being abused. But you don't have custody. So the custody order still... I think, you know, I think custody and removal from you would be a factor in not giving you custody and the child in foster care. But that's not my call. That's not Damn. my decision. She didn't do some bad. So that, I would see that as a reason why the courts and social services wouldn't give you custody right now until you go to court and actually have a custody here. Yep. So the... The only option is to just leave him in the abusive home until court. For a well, order in effect it order. And it's a piece of paper. Yes, no, it is. It is. So He's if something is. happens to my son before we go to court, am I going to add you guys to the list of the people I'm going to sue? Okay, we're done. Because this is child abuse. Let me speak to Dominic. This is child You're going to speak to Dominic because he has a lot to carry okay. with this is sad. You know the son. Court ruling. They know her. And Judge Turpin called me a liar that said that a court ruling would not override my children being abused. So I really can't wait to show him this video. Because he called your, me a liar. It's okay because he still wants to see these videos to prove that what I'm saying is right. And he wants me to prove to him that you guys are telling me that his court order overrules my children being abused. And that's exactly what I have you saying. It's okay because you're going to have to answer the Judge Turpin, sir. Personally, you will. He said he's not going to answer to you, Judge Turpin, and that's your lieutenant. She really thinks she's a manipulator. Bro, she coming there with this corny game. <laughs> That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? The judge wasn't lying. His court order doesn't take place. It is ineffective when there is an issue, an actual issue, not some verbal hearsay, some actual shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to actually see some, some injuries or something. You know what I'm saying? But... All of them know her. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to get tricked and finessed. A lot of people going to file for this, and I might have to argue with a few of y'all people in the comments. I really don't give a damn. I, I don't give a fuck. Y'all want to argue, we finna argue. You know, I might block you, but we're going to argue about it too, though. But, uh, yeah, man, like, like, I just don't understand how you can't see that she's running game and the way that they treating her, they treating her so nonchalantly, you know, they, like, they just, they treating her so, you know what I'm saying, like, like a fly, like a mosquito, like, I don't, like, alright, man, alright, whatever, you know what I'm saying, people don't have time for that because she's been doing this, 
That's why she was saying, ask this person, ask that person. I just said that before she even said that. That somebody didn't let her know. Somebody didn't, you know what I'm saying? Her name is out there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, for her to try to throw this manipulation tactics out just to win custody of her child and get some more custody, it ain't what's up. You know what I'm saying? You over there giving this boy scripts and putting stuff in his mind. If he is autistic, look what you're doing. That's kind of, that's a that's a form of abuse. You putting all these ideas in his mind. Run away. He's a flight risk and this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? You you just genuinely supposed to keep the child. First of all, you're supposed to do what you need to do to keep the child. But I know some stuff does happen, but I'm talking about this situation right here. She in the wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you need to do to get your child. But man, come on now. Don't do too much. You know, don't overdo it because they're not going to want to give you nothing. You know? Shit, they're not going to want to hear you out unless you get some going better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? As far as your character, the way you live, what you drive, and all that different type of stuff. Because what people don't understand is that it takes a major toll in a situation like this. You got to be on your shit to get a child, man. And I'm pretty sure that daddy is established, you know? Not saying that she isn't, but I'm just saying it's something that's not... Letting, letting them have sympathy for her, you know? But uh, yeah, man, I ain't got too much shit to say about this, man. I said enough through this whole video. I just honestly feel like that she is wrong. I feel like the dad understands that his son is fully capable of understanding everything that's happening around him. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's not giving him no excuses to go with or none of that. You're going to take accountability for everything that's happening in your life, and that's how it's going to be. But, uh, yeah, man, I ain't got too much shit to say about this, man. Like I just said a while ago, I done said enough. I done talked, it. I done talked enough. Y'all add my Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, all that. If y'all want to add that. And, uh, yeah, man, get in the comment section, man. Uh, if y'all don't want to add that, I ain't doing no tripping on that. And if y'all made it all the way to the end of this video, let me know, man. I really, really appreciate you for rocking with me the whole way. You know, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I always tell y'all, man, y'all like my fam. The people who make it to the end of these videos, man, all the time, bro. Y'all like my fam, real talk. But uh, yeah, I'm done with this whole situation, man. I feel like she was out there finessing and she didn't get what she wanted. So, you know what I'm saying? Evidently, something ain't right with her. But I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. All right.